Hi guys, welcome to this Easy EDA tutorial. Easy EDA is a great and above all free web based circuit design, simulation, and PC board design tool for electronics hobbyists, engineers, teachers, students, makers, and enthusiasts. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to draw a circuit for free. Let us type the keyword draw circuit in Google. Draw circuit. Gonna select Easy EDA. This is Easy EDA online PC board design and circuit simulation. You can start a new project right away by clicking on new project. But if you want to save your data for future access from any PC anywhere as long as it can be connected to the internet, you have to log in. Click login. If you are new to Easy EDA, then you have to register a new account for free. All you need is to write a username, password, and email address. For us, because you've got already an account, we're just gonna use our email address and password to log in. Once you have logged in, we're gonna start a new project. Click new project. We're gonna name it DC Moto Control Circuit. You can write a short description if you want to. If you select private, only you can see and modify this project. But if you select public, only you can modify this project, but anyone can see it. So we're gonna leave it to private. Click OK. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna click on new schematic so that we can draw our circuit diagram. This is the canvas where we're gonna draw our circuit diagram. There are some few hotkeys that you left to know whenever you're using EZDA. If you press the space bar or press the R button on the keypad, it's gonna rotate the component that you want to place. Let us click on hotkey settings so that we can see all these existing hotkeys. It says the space bar is to rotate the selected object. The left is to scroll or move selected object. So you can go through all these hotkeys to learn them. The A button is to zoom in. The Z is to zoom out. The K is to fit in window. The X is to flip horizontal. The Y is to flip vertical. And the other very important key we're going to use is W. If you want to draw the track, we're going to use the W hotkey. In this section, you can select Easy EDA library to see the component symbols. These are the, some of the component symbols that we can use. All you need to do, you can just type in the component name in this filter section. Let's say if you want to use this 7805 voltage regulator, we're going to just type 78. All you need to do to place a component on the canvas, you just have to select the component, you click it, then you click on the canvas, it's going to be placed. You can click as many times as you want. Then you can press the escape button on your keyboard or you can right click with your mouse to deselect the component. You can move around the component where you want to place it. If you want to rotate, you can just select the component and use the hotkey R button to rotate your component. So if you don't see the component that you are looking for, let's say we are looking for a peak microcontroller. In this tutorial, we're going to use the peak 18F45K22. 18F45K22. You can see I can't find it. You can click on more libraries to search hundreds of thousands of components. These are some of the easy EDA components. You can see we've got potentiometers, resistors, so anything that you are looking for. You can also have your own part if you have created your own part. If you click under system component, we can also search the component by their manufacturer because we're going to use a peak. It's manufactured by microchip. You can see these are some of the peak microcontrollers that you can use. Like the peak 16F, 874, 877. For a quick search, we're just going to tap in the component that we are looking for. Peak 18F. 45K22, 
22 search there are different packages that you can use in this tutorial we're gonna use the deep 40 package you can also select a different package depending on your application so in this tutorial we're gonna use the deep 40 click on place to place this component on the canvas let us delete these voltage regulators because we're not gonna use them in this tutorial you can select and press the delete button you can also select more than one component click on delete the next component that we're gonna use in this tutorial is the motor controller we're gonna use the L293 D click search so we're gonna use this deep 16 as well place the component the other component that we're gonna need is a potentiometer to adjust the speed of the motor this is a potentiometer you can select to use either the EU or the US symbol we're gonna use the EU symbol select the potentiometer and place it on the canvas we're gonna need some few connectors to connect our motor and to connect our power supplies we're gonna use this connector you can also select different type of connector if you want a connector with three pins the seven pins we're gonna use the one with two pins we're gonna place three connectors so let us draw our circuit the first thing we're gonna connect our potentiometer to analog ra0 of our microcontroller if you select on your component you can also adjust its values in this example we're gonna use a 10k resistor you can also change the component prefix if you want you can say this is gonna be r2 or anything else that you want we're gonna use the wiring tools if you want to place the ground or if you want to place the vcc we're gonna need plus 5 volt as well to join the component with wire you just have to press the hot key W then you can click one end and the other end to place a wire the ground of our microcontroller and the VDD connected to plus 5 volt we're gonna connect the ground of the L293 D motor controller as well. This is gonna be 12 volt. We're gonna use a 12 volt DC motor. And this 5 volt is gonna be the supply of all our component, the motor controller and our microcontroller. So let us connect our motor controller. We're gonna use the net port because it's clean design. Instead of running wires crisscrossing each other, it's always good to use the net port. Whenever you use a net port, you have to give it a label. I'm gonna say EN. The other end that you want to join, you're gonna give it the same label. In this case, we're gonna connect it to RC1 which is a path with modulation pin we're gonna use the same name en this connection is gonna be basically the same the a's are input 1a and 2a and the y's are output where we can connect our motors so in this example we're gonna use a1 and a2 a logic one can turn the motor other clockwise or anti-clockwise and the Y1 and Y2 is where we're gonna connect our motor. Let us flip horizontally by pressing the X hotkey. 1A, we're gonna label it in one. It's gonna be the same connection. We're gonna connect it to RB0. And in two, we're gonna connect it to RB1. You're gonna need plus 5 volt you can change the text attribute of our connector 12 volt DC motor okay 
And that's all guys for this tutorial. We have shown you how you can draw your circuit using Easy EDA. Once you are done with your design, you can just click on save so that you can save your project on the cloud. You can access it from any computer anywhere in the world that is connected to the internet. You can even share your project with others or you can even participate in a collaboration. So we're going to give it a name DC Moto Control. Click Save. And once you are done, you can also export your circuit. You're going to export it to PDF. Click Export. And this is your circuit diagram. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.